G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. This video is uh, a response to a question that I got asked about how to work out unknown denominators in a fraction, uh, where you get asked, say, a question that looked like this. So say you were asked, what is 1 over x, or an unknown number, plus a quarter, and this was to equal to 9 over 20. Okay, and how you would solve this particular question, how would you find this unknown denominator here? Uh, I'll go through a couple of examples with this when we do this, but it's not overly hard, okay? The first thing we have to do is we have to, we've got a couple of numbers we do know here. We know this quarter, we do know this 9 twentieths, and so we're going to try and get these guys all onto one side of the equation here and get this 1 over x by itself. So to do this, the, the, the easiest way to do this is to get these guys here and turn them into a number over 20, okay? Especially this one here, so then we'll have the same denominators here. So to do that, what we do is we multiply this 4 by 5. What we do to the top, we have to do the bottom, so we're also going to multiply this by 5. Okay, so we're going to end up with the following. We're going to end up with 1 over x. We're going to be adding that to 1 times 5 is 5, 4 times 5 is 20, and this is equal to 9 over 20. Okay, so now what we have to do is we're going to get rid of this 5 over 20, we're going to put it over this side of the equation. To do that, what we do is we take it away. So we're going to take 5 over 20 off both sides. Okay, so when we do that, we end up with 1 over x, and we're going to get rid of that 5 over 20, we're going to take 1 off this side, uh, off this side too, so 9 over 20 take away 5 over 20 is 4 over 20. So, what do we end up with next? Is we have this sort of thing. We are, now this is very, very simple to deal with. Um, now the way I typically do this is you might look at this and you might say, what number do I times by one here to get four? The answer is four. So I've got to times the same number by x here to get 20. So what number do you times, so one times four is 20, something times four is 20. So this number down here is going to be five, okay? So x is equal to five. The other way you can do this is actually this cross multiplication thing. You go 1 times 20 is 20, so you multiply this number and this number, and this will be equal to this number times this number. So 20 equals 4x, and therefore x equals 5. Okay, so we can substitute this and say 1 fifth plus a quarter equals 9 over 20. Okay, uh, what about we have a look at one more question like this. So hopefully that was of some help. Okay. And I'll, I'll give you another example. So say we had something uh, like this one, 3 over x, and if we added this to a half, the answer was equal to 13 over 14, how we would, we would work out what x is here. So once again, let's get this one half here, so the denominator is the same as the denominator over here. So we're going to multiply our half by 7, okay? So. Let's rewrite this out. 3 over x plus 1 times 7 is 7, 2 times 7 is 14, and this is equal to 13 over 14. We take 7 over 14 off both sides, we're going to end up with 3 over x, and this is going to be equal to 13 take away 7, which is 6 over 14. And we can do, once again, this cross multiplication. 6 times x is 6x. And this is going to be equal to 14 times 3. 14 times 3 is 42. So, what number do we times by 6 to get 42? It means that x is equal to 7, because 6 times 7 is 42. Now, I hope that helped you out. Um, again, any questions that you guys ever have, please put them through. I'm always more than happy to make up a video and answer these for you. Okay, hope that helped. See you next time.